Hello, everyone. My name is Estrella Tinge, and this gentleman next to me is Henry Cameron Allen, and we are the face of Healing, Harmony, and Hope. We thought it was about time for us to show you who we are, introduce ourselves, and tell you the reason why we are here. Healing, Harmony, and Hope is a charitable project of From Grief to Hope. And for those of you who are not familiar with this organization, we provide services and resources to parents who have outlived their children and for families who grieve the loss of a loved one. Okay, Henry, tell them what we are doing and why. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Henry Cameron Allen, and I am here in Spain. And Estrella is in the United States. And we have partnered on this project because it's something that we're both very passionate about and have experienced firsthand. We are both parents who have outlived our children, and we have both started foundations to live out our lives in memory and in honor and in partnership with our kids who have crossed over. And uh, we are both very, very passionate as well about philanthropy and helping organizations that need uplifting and need support. And so we've monetized the Healing Harmony and Hope page um, with that mission to really engage our audiences with inspiring quotes and memes and poetry and messages that um, that will move us to action um, on the, what I call Triple H page. Uh, all you have to do is click like, maybe put a comment now and then, share it. Uh, the more engagement we have, the more the page will be monetized so that we can support these uh, four noble organizations that we support. Um, and in talking, we've been doing this for several months now and have had many meetings about it. And we feel that it's time to take it to another level, to engage face-to-face -face with our audience, with our followers, and get a conversation going in a way that we haven't seen out there there very much. Um, one of the things that we hope to do is create a particular niche that um, that we can create a, a dialogue and a conversation with our subscribers. Now, the difference between being a member or a follower of the Triple H page and being a subscriber is that the followers on the page or our top fans, um, all you have to do is click like, comment, and share. With the subscription, it's more or less $5 a month, right? The cost of a cup of coffee. And what that will gain access to is a, we're going to start out monthly, um, a podcast, a vidcast here on the Facebook page that we are calling Unlearning. Uh, we've had a few posts recently and many responses about the concept of unlearning. And many of us who are in this grief journey together, um, even though it's a solitary journey, we all experience it in our own unique way. We find solace in community. We find solace in understanding that other people have also experienced in their way something similar, a similar path. And so we thought that by um, putting a face behind the name or in front of, <laughs> as the case may be, um, we can engage on a different level and start to gain subscribers that we can help these organizations even more. And so if a cup of coffee is worth the sacrifice every month, we want you to join us as a subscriber. If not, or if you're not able to, that's fine. Just keep engaging with us on the page. Yeah. Thank you. And we're going to be sharing with you many topics of interest, okay? Because grief is part of our lives. And it's not just when we lose a loved one. We grieve when we lose a job, when we lose our health, when we lose, we a lose pet, our hair. <laughs> that is real grief. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're gonna cut that one. No, no, no. <laughs> 
we're also going to share some humorous moments uh, because life really, sometimes we take it too seriously, okay? And I think part of any healing journey is to laugh, learn to laugh, learn to enjoy the moment, learn to just live. And I think that is the sole purpose of our existence is to just come here, live our best lives while we are helping others as well, okay? We're all connected. And uh, some of the topics we're going to share with you are related to life skills. And Henry is uh, very knowledgeable, certified and all of that. So we're going to be addressing critical thinking, decision-making, how to build better relationships. Because when you think about it, most of our problems relate to other people and situations. So how do we become assertive in our communication so that we can relay the message in a way that it's well-received? Okay, and also, how can we become self-aware and also develop empathy, which are really key elements of critical thinking? So, Henry, is there anything else that you want to share with them? Yeah, I want to acknowledge that there are many different dimensions of the grief journey, and everyone finds themselves in a different part of the journey in a different dimension, right? If the loss is new... Um, it may be hard to think of other people. It may be hard to tap into your empathy. It may be hard to even understand your own feelings around it. If it was a shock of a situation, um, it may take time for that shock to resolve and for you to start to get a semblance of self again. And so we are both, again, having been on this journey, for me, it's been over 15 years since my son transitioned. And he was 13 years old, uh, and sadly, he had brain cancer. And he lived with it for two years. I was a single father. He was my only child. So it was really like the Big Bang. You know, it was like a whole you, new universe, a whole new self being born out of that fire and explosion of of feeling and non-feeling and numbness and all of that. We've all, we all know what that's like. Um and so that's given me a whole new trajectory and perspective on my own journey. Um, one thing that Estre and I talk about a lot, especially for me as a universal life skills educator, counselor, and mentor, um, is that we have cobbled together an amazing toolkit, each of us individually, as have you. The toolkit that you have and we have, we lay out in front of us and we just sort of take a half step back, assess what are the tools that I have to work with and what is my proficiency with these tools. Now, when we talk about universal life skills, when I talk about universal life skills, I'm talking about the skills that every human being on the planet learns, regardless of culture, background, socioeconomic status, gender, gender identity, all of it. So it's important to acknowledge the uniqueness of these tools. And if you want to, say, learn the cuisine of a different country, or you want to learn a sport or a musical instrument, I'm learning the ukulele right now, um, you go and find a master, you go find an authority in that skill so that you can elevate your skill level, right? Because we don't have the capacity to do it adequately all the time alone. And so that's what we're providing here. Estrella and I, given our certifications, given our professional backgrounds, given our life path, um, we have become for ourselves authorities on our journey. And so we can lay down here our tools and share them freely with you. You can't use them the way we do because you're not us, right? Estrella can't use my tools the way I do because she's not me and vice versa, right? And so what you can do, though, is having assessed your own tools and your own proficiencies and deficiencies as you perceive them, you can take some of the tools that we've created 
and synthesize them with the tools you already have to create un unique tools for yourself and for your journey, if that makes sense. Um, and so that's what we're hoping unlearning this journey is going to be about. It's Estrella and I laying out the tools that we have to share them with you, for you to sit back, reflect, and look at them with your own tools and say, oh, I can use that one and I can connect it with this one and maybe that'll help. And it, it's a lot of trial and error, isn't it? Estrella? It's a lot of it experimentation sure and patience with yourself, self-care which is a universal life skill. Grief itself is a universal life skill. Every single one of us on the planet, more than 8 billion now, is going to grieve. And as Estelle was saying, it could be anything from grieving a, a family pet, you know, or in my case, a service dog. Recently, my service dog unexpectedly passed after seven years of training and you know, finding our bond and our rhythm together. And so that was really a shock. And it was, um, it was extremely difficult. It still is. It's only been three weeks. And so here we get to be transparent with you. Today and I get to converse together and share our notes, share our tools in front of an audience. And then you get to comment, you get to offer your tools. If you want to come and be a guest and join us in a conversation on camera, great. If you don't, that's okay too. Um, but this is the beginning of a journey. And we're both very, very excited about this and the collaborations that we are uh, forming. We're already partnering our two foundations. Mine is called the Lost Travelers Club. And... It is an empowerment organization specifically for parents who have outlived their children, which we call peregrines. And so um, I'll go into that another time in one of our in one of our monthly videos. But uh, or you can go read about it at the website. Um, but yeah, this is just the beginning of a journey, and uh, I'm really excited to study that we're doing this. Well, I think it it's it it ha it's happening at the perfect time. Okay, and we will be unlearning things that may be uh, creating an obstacle yeah. along our path. It could be belief systems that are no longer serving us. It could be thoughts, ideas, behaviors that we learned as children that maybe it's time to really rethink those patterns and look at new ways that are positive, that lead us in a positive direction. So <clears throat> I think that's really all we, we wanted to share. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a good, we just wanted to introduce ourselves, let you know this is coming. Um, this is just the introductory video, but uh, you can find us in about a month's time, mid-March. Um, so if you have questions about subscription, if you have questions about us, um, about why we're doing this, or, or ideas of, of topics that you would like us to address, given our own skill set, um, it's only going to get richer the more people engage. And we're going to learn a lot as well as share. So um, we invite you, we encourage you. Um, you know, these these things that we've been taught or have been ingrained in us from childhood, as you said, um, sometimes they do become stumbling blocks in our lives. When they stop resonating with our spirit, with our soul, with our instinct, whatever you want to call it, that's when we start to think, can I relearn this? And the answer is yes, we can. I've done it. Estrella certainly has done it. You all have already done it. When we have new information and it feels right, we develop that instinct of truth and what is resonant with us. We're not always going to agree. Estrella and I don't always agree, but we have an open, candid, organic conversation around these topics, and we hope that you will feel free and uh, encouraged to join in with us. And we want to thank you, and we look forward to seeing you in about a month's time. Yay. Yes. <laughs>